Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalendo, and today we're playing some more Crusader Kings 2. And we are going to finish up this, these two wars we got left with Sweden and Poland. And once we do that, we are going to get involved in the Portuguese Crusade. Hopefully, it'll be soon enough that we can actually do that. This, these four wars are poorly timed, uh, taking forever. And uh, now we're trying to just get things done. Let's go ahead and move an army over to Sweden. Start pressuring them over there. Wish they would just surrender already. Occupations. No ticking war score, huh? This should be a ticking war score right here. I have a new heir. If my character dies, I'll now play as this character. My daughter. We have a daughter. She's sickly, unfortunately. Hopefully she gets better. Born in the purple. Wizagarda. Uh, tu -tu 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 -tu. Oh, we didn't finish. We did not finish sieging. Bad us. Bad. Oh, well. We'll finish sieging now. At some point, I'll decide where these armies need to go. Excellent. Victory, victory, victory. Oh, some an adventurer is trying to seize my territory. Awesome. Love to see that. Uh, you. Seducer. You are a problem. But I don't really need to deal with you right now. Auto save for the win. Man, if we actually get through this in time to do this war, it's going to be awesome. 36% done's already, though. Uh, need a new chancellor. Need to sow dissent. I'm going to sow dissent continually with uh, the Amazid, because I'd like to cause them problems. 41,000 troops is all he can muster now. Defeat? What? Oh, is that 319 there? That getting itself in trouble? The castle you commissioned in Nicomedia has been finished and is, uh, its construction required less resources than originally planned. The surplus building material has been sold in the gold place in your coffers. Excellent. Got money and an extra castle. And I became a baron, apparently. I can always give that away later. I got two extra baronies. I'll keep them for now. But I can give away whenever I want. Call allies. Always call allies. Okay, cool. Taking a lot of attrition here ton of attrition. But I really just want to want to get this war down here over with. So I'm willing to take it. Is that your only... Yeah, that's his only holding. So if I siege that down, he should surrender. Now, uh, throw her in the dungeons. I'll deal with her later. That was the witch event again. She's not a witch. They're never witches. That is a big fleet coming from Nor Nor Norwegia. We'll call it Norwegia today. Norwegia filled with Norwegians. Okay, won that war. Let's get uh, that given away to some peoples. How about some Wallachia up here? Or maybe, I don't know. Let's give it to somebody like farther away. Armenia. We need some more Armenian stuff up here. We need Anatolia. Always good to have an extra Anatolian province wherever we are. And we will throw Arabia's up here. Wow, that's weird. Uh, Bulgaria. We'll throw Bar Bulgaria up here with us. 
and uh, Georgia. We don't really pay much attention to them, but we'll throw them up here. Cool. Back to 11 of 11. So we should be able to finish off the Swedish um, war fairly soon. Where is his holdings? Yes, let's just go camp on his capital until he surrenders. That usually works. In fact, we'll send everybody up there to camp on his capital. I'm sure we won't suffer horrible attrition. Okay, you, you're smashing that army. We'll smash every army we see on our way by. It's so hard to invade places with low attrition. A peasant accused uh, of murder is dragged before your court. His wife and children have been found butchered in a small hut they called home, and he was standing nearby covered in their blood. Despite this evidence, the man continues to uh, profess his innocence. What should be done with him? I can either hang him, throw him in the dungeons, or the evidence is substantial, let him go. Let's throw him in the dungeons, because we don't know if he did and the evidence is circumstantial but it's just it's kind of weird yeah let's throw him in the dungeons i don't think he actually anyone actually appears in the dungeons yeah there's there's the witch we'll go ahead and free her um i don't i don't see anyone that was new so time in prison newest guy's this this girl here so yeah they don't show up in prison when you do that He's just a peasant, not a courtier, after all. Victory captured 89%. Getting closer. We're getting there. and march up to that area up there. Hopefully, eventually, we'll blow up enough of their armies that they'll give up. We do have a ticking war score, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, mayor is a heretic. No, not a heretic. Allies, come on. Join in. Have fun. You need to go up there. Smashy, smashy. Will you surrender already, Mr. Swedish guy? Ninety-seven percent. Getting closer. Getting closer. Not there yet, but getting closer. Closer we are getting. How many ways can you say we are getting closer? Two, apparently. Uh, that's way too many troops to have in one place. Uh, let's go ahead and siege. Hit the siege button. Hit the siege button again siege button again. There. Now he will surrender because we just sieged all of his villages in like two seconds. Enforce. Okay. Drop everything. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Usurp Jilland. Usurp that. We can't. Usurp this. We can. Okay. Give this one away to you. Celestia. Give this one away to whoever we end up giving these to. Uh, who do we want to give these to? How about uh, uh, Italy? Or Aragon? We haven't given anything to Aragon up here lately. Grant Aragon uh, the county of Chiland. 
We'll also give him the duchy, but not everything underneath. Well, yeah, not everything underneath. And then Serbia. Have we given you something lately? I don't think we have. Give you the county of Slesvig. Slesvig! There we go. Aragon of Serbia up there. This is, this map is just awful looking. Absolutely awful looking. Um, but we can now actually participate in this war that is halfway over already. Hmm. Okay. Let's get those troops ready. We're going to go ahead and propose to join the war. And we're going to wait for him to say yes. There we go. Ready to go. And then we're going to go to Direct Vassal View. We're going to get up all of our troops. Every single troop that we can muster. Even though we're at half staff right now with with everyone uh, just getting back from that fight with the four different Slavic kings. Ooh, Cyprus is over here. Completely forgot about Cyprus. Italy. Italy needs more inside Spain. Aquitaine. I, I ignore Aquitaine a lot, too. Sicily. France. Italy. Middle Francia. Middle Francia could be closer. No, there's one over there. Bavaria. England is already up. Frisia. Okay. Raise the rest wherever they end up raising. Okay. Now, march. Get in there. In a hurry. Quick like a bunny. There's pretty much no opponents anymore, so we're just going to be sieging straight away. Come on. Oh, I had it paused. I was like, why is no... Why is my clicking's not working? I don't understand. This is a weird concept. Okay. Now we're going to hopefully get some of this um, participation score. We're up 0% right now. Wish there was a way to have a little tooltip like this stay up all the time. Okay, now we're together. Let's split. About 10,000 per is what we want to target. Uh, you can go down here. Let's play in this mode so I can actually see where Portugal is. It'd be nice, right? all going there. Wow. Okay. Let's merge them together. Send them here. They're going to have too many there. I'll, I'll send some somewhere else. Auto save. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Victory. Cool. Merge. Split. Somebody else is probably going to take over the siege because I did that. Whoops. Okay, this is now 20,000. Split those guys. You go here. You go here. In fact, you second that. Go there. Why don't you go down there? Uh, where are we at? We're moving on up. 3%. Moving on up. You see us moving up the list there. Pretty rapidly, too. Assemble the mob. Hopefully we'll get a large portion of the sieges done. Crowds first. Cool. And then if we do, we're going to be in a lot better shape. Split this army. Send half of it down there. We're going to 
split this army shortly. Actually, we'll split this one. Send half of it up there. We're just basically carpet sieging for everyone. We're here for you guys. We're here to help you. We gotta pass uh, Prince Vako of Armenia. He's 26%. He's way out in front. And we gotta we gotta catch up to him. I feel like we're playing track day manager all of a sudden. Tons of victories. Yeah, 85%. It's gonna be hard for us to catch him at this point. He's really committed all in to this war. Ten percent. Eleven percent. Come on, make a comeback. I'm only here late because reasons. Too many people here. I have to split some, send them somewhere else. Everywhere's covered now. Ninety-eight percent. We're not gonna make it in time. Yep, he's going to get it instead of us. It's a shame. Shame, shame, shame. We're sieging as fast as we can, but nope. Someone else is going to get it. No, we got it. Yay. It's probably because the guy who got it was... Yep, the guy who got it is uh, Frizia. King Odilo of Frizia apparently had a claim to it. Cool. Catholic Crusade for Portugal has ended. Let's take a look at what happened. Uh, Pope Donus III has won. Successful Crusade of Portugal. The Lord has granted Prince Vaco of Armenia victory in the Crusade for Portugal against Bad, uh, Bad Shah Abad of Umayyad Empire. Pope Donus III has called for a month of celebration across the whole Christian world. So this is Prince Vaco, the chaste of the Teutonic Order, who apparently was doing better than everyone else. And then uh, he apparently gave it to uh, the King of Frisia because... He, here's Vako the Chaste, and he works for King Odilo of Frisia, so therefore it becomes uh, Frisian. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Alright. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Uh, we can go ahead and... I don't need to do any of those things. Go ahead and drop these troops. Take a look at the map again. If we can, If we can take, like, some duchy in here in the middle... Like Barajos, if we can take Barajos, we can cut off the Umayyad top from the bottom. Uh, we can also take, we'd have to take two if we take anything else. Um, we'd have to take Cordoba and Seville. Cool. Hmm. Azamid. Azamid, we are coming for you. So, do we still have a... We don't have a truce with Azimut anymore. Do we have a truce with Umayyad? We do not have a truce with Umayyad. Do we have a truce with anyone? I don't think we do. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, Abbasid, hello. We can attack you now because you're separate. So, yeah, we can attack them. Neat. Alright, well, we got something to do. Uh, what are we going to do next? Uh, adventures... End of this year, we got an adventurer showing up. Who is this adventurer threat? It doesn't show him as having any claim to anything. Does that mean that he's probably going to go after the Roman Empire? I, I don't know. Doesn't really tell me. Guess we'll just have to wait for him to show up. Title can be usurped. I can't usurp them because they're at war. Negative 36. Okay, we need to let the vassals calm down some. We can create titles. Let's go ahead and create some titles while we're here. Likes to create me some titles. Kingdom of Portugal. Yes, we'll create that. So this this whole thing belongs to Frisia, right? So what would happen if we gave them gave the Kingdom of Portugal to say France? <laughs> what would happen? I don't know. You tell me. Or Pannonia. Or Anatolia. Let's give it to Anatolia. Uh, then he'd be a three. He'd be a uh, triple king. I want to avoid triple kings for a while. If I can. Pannonia would, is already a triple king. But one of them's titular. So that's not a big deal. Italy is already pretty powerful. But he's only a single king. 
Uh, yeah, sure. We'll give him... We'll give him the Kingdom of Portugal. Maybe him and Frizia will fight over it. Nope, still Frisian. So it still belongs to Frisia, but the Italian king's going to start looking at this going, Hey, wait a second. You give that back. That's mine. Um, okay, so in the next episode, we will be attacking Badajoz, which will be right here. It's going to break the Umiad into this part up here, and this part down here, and also they're separate uh, from this part, this part. They're all cut, you know, chopped to pieces, and they'll be a lot harder, a lot easier to manage. Ilkhanate is winding down some. They have 97,000 troops. Uh, Arabian Empire is down to 70,000. The Arabia, which is the um, Abbasids, Arabia is down to 20, 23,000. Hispania is all the way down at 15,000, which means they are severely weakened. It looks like Portugal was like one of their main power bases. And so without, now that they've lost Portugal, they have, they've really, the, their strength is really crippled at this point. So we'll probably, I probably want to hit the uh, Azimids first. So we may get the rest of Egypt down here or get this piece over here. We'll see. It depends on how everything is lined up on the du jour map and whether or not I want to claim this, that, or the other. And we may pick on the Abbasids at the same time if we get this area. Uh, and after that, we're going to go after the Umiyad over here and get Barajos and really, really mess them up. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.